Is deep sea diving one of the fastest ways to make money in Animal Crossing New Horizons? We'll put it to the test in today's video. People of the internet, Retro Tour here and welcome back to another Animal Crossing New Horizons video. If we're meeting for the first time, I'm just a dad who loves games and the stories they tell. We post videos every week here on YouTube. Now, in one of my most popular videos to date, we talk about five ways to make money in Animal Crossing New Horizons that doesn't involve turnips. And on the comments section of that video, one of the things that you guys kept suggesting over and over and over again was that I needed to go deep sea diving. Now, when I made that original video, deep sea fishing hadn't been out for all that long, so I didn't really have a chance to test it. Guess what? That's what we're going to do in today's video, guys. And we're starting right now. All right, so I'm going to speed up some of this so you guys don't have to sit and watch me do every single thing. But I also want to make this really what it would be like for you or anyone out there who may decide, hey, I want to go deep sea diving and I want to maximize the amount of time spent. So you can see it's about 8.22 p.m. right now on my island. So we're going to test everything, how long it takes, what all you need to do to get ready. And then we're going to actually go into Nook's Cranny, hopefully if we get done in time before 10 p.m., and then sell the items to see what we get. Now, of course, you guys know certain creatures come out at certain times of the day, so you could maximize your time by trying to only deep sea dive whenever there's gonna be high value creatures out there. But just for this video, we're just gonna be going at the time I have available right now, which is 8.23 p.m. in the evening. So the first thing we'll need to do is we'll need to put on our wetsuit. So I have that on underneath. So I'm just gonna go ahead and remove this with my wand here. So now I'm in my wetsuit. And the next thing that you would need to do is you would need to remove all of the items from your inventory here. So if we want to maximize our time, guys, we want to make sure that we don't have anything. And I mean anything here in our inventory. So I'm going to go ahead and head down to the beach. And then we will dump all of our items there. Now, don't mind my island right now, guys. Parts of it are looking great. Other parts of it, I am just really been neglecting it like see this flower right here driving me crazy really do not need it there so just ignore some of those spots and focus on the more completed areas so we are here at the beach you know what i love diving off the pier so let's head over here to the pier now as i mentioned though we need to remove all of our items so i'm gonna do that first i'm just gonna drop them on the beach here so just go through one by one all right, so that's it. We've removed everything from our inventory, and you can see that we have indeed unlocked all four rows here. If you're newer at the game and you don't have all of these unlocked yet, don't worry. That will all come in due time. But I have 40 total inventory slots here, so we're going to see exactly how long it will take. All right, and with that, we are ready to dive into the ocean and go deep sea diving. All right, guys, here we go. We've got one right over here. This is going to be our first catch. Remember, we have to catch a total of 40 right here. Now, when it comes to making money in Animal Crossing New Horizons, a huge part of it, honestly, is about A, how much time you have to spend doing the task, and then B, how enjoyable that task is. Now, for me personally, my thoughts going into this, when you guys kept suggesting it, and you can see here we got Pascal on our first attempt here. Hey, man, about the scallop of yours. Can I have it? Well, okay, fine. We'll let you have this one. We might as well go ahead and all good. You take it. I'll get something cool back in return. But as I was saying, it's really a balance of A, how long it takes to do the activity, and then B, how enjoyable it is. Oh, we've got a fast one here, guys. Actually, he's not really fast, but he is trying to evade. He is trying to evade. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to creep up on him nice and slow. Nice and slow here. We're going to creep up on him. Just going to get right above him right here, and then we're going to go down. Let's see. Did we time it just right? Yes, we did. And we got a snow crab. All right, let's go.
All right, guys. Looks like we got a runner here. Not too bad, though. Not too bad. We got him. And what do we have? A mantis shrimp. Shrimply amazing. Okay, guys, we have swam all the way around my island. It's been roughly 20 minutes so far. Let's take a look at my inventory and see where we currently stand. Wow. Okay, we are a lot further on than I expected to be. We only have six slots remaining, guys. We are getting pretty close to the end here. What we'll do after we catch these next six is we'll go through and we'll organize all these. I'll tell you exactly how many I got of each one, and then we'll go and sell them at Nook's Cranny. Let's go ahead and dive back into the water. into one that actually presents a little bit of a problem for us. And finally, we're able to get him there. A snow crab. It's giving me the cold shoulder. And we have one more to go here. I think there was one just right over here. Let's head on over and see if we can wrap this up. Oh, yeah, this one's not going to get away from us at all right there. First try. We got him. What do we have? And another acorn barnacle. Okay, guys, so initial reaction. Uh, let's check the timer right there. It is 8.46. Wow. So we'll get the exact time when I go back and edit the video. But just right now, I think that was about 23 minutes, 25 minutes, somewhere in that range. So initial reaction, this did not take nearly as long as I expected. I, I was expecting it to take at least half an hour, if not 45 minutes or more, to collect all 40 slots with deep sea creatures now you could probably see even though the video was sped up you could probably see that none of them really posed too big of a problem for me i didn't really have any that were super fast trying to get away so it wasn't too bad overall but let's go ahead and head back ashore and see what we got okay guys here is the complete inventory all 40 slots filled up here and you could see the breakdown here we had eight seaweed two scallops then we've got four sea cucumbers two mantis shrimp four turban shells, three whelks, four acorn barnacles, three sea slugs, two dungeness crabs, two snow crabs, two pearl oysters, two sea stars, one octopus, and one pearl. Now, as I said in the beginning, I did not target a specific time. I wasn't targeting a specific deep sea creature. This was just going to be an example of someone out there who decided, hey, you know what? I've got an extra half an hour to an hour tonight. 
I just want to go around deep sea diving and see how much money I can make. So I'm sure if you went at a certain time of day and targeted specific creatures, you could make even more, but it would also probably take you a lot more time as well. So we're going to go ahead and head inside a Nook's Cranny here and see how much we get for all of this stuff. All right, guys, the moment of truth here. How many bells do we earn for spending roughly half an hour to fill our inventory completely full of deep sea creatures? We're going to go through. We're going to sell every single item here. None of these are new. I've caught all these before. Don't have anything to donate to the museum. I'm honestly curious. Like, I, I really want to see what all this is worth here, guys. So let's go ahead and hit confirm there. 59,000 bells, guys. There you have it. So actually more than about 1,000 bells per minute, almost 2,000 bells per minute if I am doing that quick math right there. I think that's pretty close. So honestly, not bad. Sold. I'll definitely take those bells. Okay, guys, retro from the future here. I've now had a chance to go back and watch the video. We started at 8.23 p.m. And keep in mind, that was before we even put on the wetsuit and removed all of the items from our inventory. So from that exact moment to when we caught the final 40th item right there, it would be exactly 23 minutes. So if you go ahead and you take away the time that it took me to put on my wetsuit and to discard all my items, really you're looking at actually about 20 minutes of deep sea diving. If you want to go ahead and round up everything by the time you sell and by the time you get rid of all your items and things like that, then maybe you want to round up to half an hour. But 20 to 30 minutes, I think, for 59,000 bells is really pretty solid. Now, I did get lucky there. I got Pascal, who gave me a pearl, which the pearl alone is worth 10,000. So that was certainly a nice chunk. But other than that, I don't think I really caught anything super rare. There was a lot of seaweed in there. So I have to agree with you guys. Everyone who suggested that in the comments, this is a really relaxing, easy way to spend 20, 30 minutes and get about 59,000 bells. To be completely fair, though, I have to say this is not something that I would want to do for an extended amount of time. It can get very boring pretty fast. But again, for a session a night or a session a week, it's really not too bad. Now, if you decide to try this yourself when you finish up, you can either go back and do it again or make sure you don't forget to go back to the beach and pick up all your inventory. Maybe you left it in your house instead. That would probably be the smarter thing to do, but I left all mine on the beach here, so I'm going to go back and pick everything up. Notice I will have a slot filled now because my total number of bells went over 100,000, so that's why I have 99,000 bells here now. But I'm just going to go through and pick everything back up. Guys, let me know how many bells you've gotten in a single haul of deep sea creatures. And let me know what other things you like to do to make money in Animal Crossing New Horizons. As always, folks, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll talk to you again soon.